that you could uh, be here to help us build up. <laughs> Um, oh, I'll hand over to Jason. To Which you go over now? To the Vano Vuvu and the representatives of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, the chief representative of the Organization for Industrial and Spiritual and Cultural uh, Advancement, PG Oiska, management and staff, and, and the guests of the Shangri-La Fijian Resort, and a special welcome to our stalwart veteran, Mr. Dixon Sito. Thank you for being here, sir, and I didn't mind waiting for you this morning. Bulvinak, as I say, and good morning to all of you. I'm indeed delighted, ladies and gentlemen, to be here today and to be part of the 2017 International Year of Sustainable Tourism Development um, pre-launch and mangrove planting initiative. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2015 the United Nations General Assembly has adopted a resolution to declare 2017 at the uh, uh, Year for Sustainable Tourism Development. The International Year aims to raise awareness on the contribution of sustainable tourism is making towards development and a catalyst for achieving a, a positive change in policy and business practices on a national and regional and international levels. And ladies and gentlemen, in, in implementing the international year, locally the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism uh, compiled a national work program and, um, and, and the NWP is actually the key implementation initiative which takes into consideration the sustainable development of the tourism sector and highlights the key priorities of the Fijian government uh, in planning and conducting tourism activities as sustainably as possible. And having said that, today's mangrove uh, planting is the first event on the NWP and there is no other better venue for such a great initiative uh, than the beachfront at the Shangri-La Fijian Resort. I'm happy to, to tell everyone that the Ministry of Trade um, and Tourism and Industry is not only partnering with the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the Organization for Industrial, um, Spiritual and Cultural Advancement in National OISCA and the Shangri-La Resort and uh, Spa, but also the partnership is with our local communities and the visitors who are here on holiday. It is extremely important that we as stakeholders work together as it will keep us all motivated and create that sense of ownership by knowing that we exact, that exactly what we're doing and why we are actually doing this. In addition, it actually builds more social collaborations, sharing of thoughts and ideas and staying updated um, or any news of, of any news or changes. Fiji, as you all know, is currently hosting, uh, co-hosting the United Nations first ever Oceans Conference in New York and our Honorable Prime Minister is present. The biggest gathering of nations to confirm their commitment to fulfilling Sustainable Development Goal 14, SDG 14. That is to conserve and sustainably use the oceans and seas and marine resources for sustainable development. Our actions, ladies and gentlemen, have affected the state of our oceans. And we are at a time which is un un unprecedented and it's a challenge for all our communities in terms of the quality of life. We should all remember that climate change poses the biggest threat to the world that, has, that the world has ever known. And the quality of our oceans and seas is also deteriorating, deteriorating at an alarming rate. As the Honorable Prime Minister has said at the opening conference, climate change and the state of our oceans cannot be separated. And he did not say that lightly. They are interlinked because rising sea levels as well as our ocean acidity and warmer waters have a direct effect on our reefs and fish stocks and the prosperity of our coastal communities. Therefore, as the custodians of the resources for our future generations, we need to ensure that the resources are used in a sustainable manner. And at this juncture, I'd also like to take this opportunity to uh, acknowledge the students who are here representing Heritage uh, in Young Hands program. 
thank you for being here, kids. Lovely to see you. And your presence and your participation today is indeed a great reminder to all of us on the importance of the mangrove planting exercise. And on the same note, I'd also like to acknowledge the great work that has been done by the Shangri-La Fijian Resort and Spa and the Native Trust of Fiji for their great initiative that will benefit not only this generation but generations to come. And these children, ladies and gentlemen, our children, will be looking after the environment. And they are the future generation and the future leaders and the citizens of our planet. It is therefore vital that they develop an appreciation for the planet and a desire to protect it. It is up to us as adults to pass on our knowledge and our sense of um, importance so that our children can continue to sustain a safe planet on which we live. And we need to give our children a deep rooted understanding by teaching them from an early age that being eco-friendly is not a choice but a duty. I wish to reiterate also the appeal that has been made by our Honourable Prime Minister to young people <clears throat> to do what you can to highlight the crisis of our oceans and our seas and, and, and all of you, all of you must become an agent for change. And whether it's collecting uh, plastic bottles from the beach or binding together to clean up our coastal areas by simply planting mangroves, every single person can make a difference. Our waterways, ladies and gentlemen, are choking. Our seas and oceans have become vast rubbish dumps. And this is affecting and killing the creatures that live in the seas. You know, we, are, we now have creatures that are listed amongst the endangered species. I had an experience last week where I realized that our giant clams are pretty much an endangered species. We're now, Fiji is doing much, much work to try and get this back into our seas. And furthermore, we rely on our oceans and seas today and for generations to come for sustenance and livelihood. For this very reason, ladies and gentlemen, we will see the planting of 200 uh, mangrove seedlings, seedlings today, which will depict a key area of focus of the international uh, year, which is creating an enabling environment at all levels to foster a common goal. Having said that, I'm happy to announce that this event coincides with the annual celebrations of World Oceans Day with the theme, Our Oceans, Our, F uh, our Future. Before I finish, ladies and gentlemen, this is for the kids. If you, with respect to mangroves, I don't know if you know this, but you should know, mangroves are something that's put, in, put onto this earth that also reduces the carbon in the atmosphere. Remember that and do some research so you will know exactly what it does. Mangroves, bamboos, even our, our sea creatures are actually people who, uh, that take carbon out of the atmosphere like whales. Do some research, kids, and you'll find out more. Okay. With those words, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all an enjoyable day, and I thank you all for being here and being part of this mangrove planting exercise. This is the first event of our national, uh, national work program. And please remember this. He who plants a tree plants a hope. Thank you very much.